Hello guys, welcome back to Retarget Common YouTube channel. I am here with another topic on this episode. So in this particular video, we are going to learn how can we extract the response body in this episode. So means when like uh, previously I've covered some APIs where we are getting some response, right? Suppose if you are creating a booking. So once we hit the post API, we get some response. Okay. So earlier we have simply verified the status code, right? So in this video, I am going to say, or I am going to uh, explain how can we extract the response body as a string. Okay. So that you can store that in some different JSON file, or you can use that in for reporting purpose or logging purpose or for as a test result. You can use that for multiple purpose. Okay. So we are going to learn how can we extract the response body as a string here. Okay. So let me go and uh, uh, open the Eclipse. Okay. So uh, this is our project, right? So here we already written so many code, right? So let me copy one create booking test. Okay, and let me copy it and extract response as a string. Okay. So this is the class. So here, let me remove this type of things. Okay, because we are well, well familiar now, how can we write the research source, uh, methods and all syntax actually. So let me remove this kind of things as well. I don't want so that you people can see everything here. Okay. Let me remove this part as well. Okay. So what, what is the purpose? Like once we hit the API, whatever response we're getting, that response I want to extract as a string. So that is my uh, goal to teach it, uh, teach here. Okay. So what I will do, let's, uh, let be the log dot all. So there are two ways to do the same thing. Okay. The first thing, once, uh, once we do that then, right? So we get the response actually there. After that, we can perform like if you want to do assertion or if you want to extract since everything you can do here. So we have one method called dot extract. Okay. Extract. Okay. Once you do call this method extract, so means what I want to extract. Okay. So I want to extract the response body, right? So for that, we have that method called body. Okay. This, this body. So this body actually representing whatever response we're getting in that we are uh, uh, focusing on body. So means I want to extract the only body. Okay, body. And then there's one method called as string. Okay. So let me store inside a variable. Suppose uh, response body. Okay, so this particular request will be hit. Okay, and once it is hit, it will extract the response as a string. So what method we need to use? Extract method, and that you can access once you call the then method. Okay, so means when you when you call the then, then you can do the validation, you can do extraction, whatever you can do. Okay, so this two method will simply log all the details, and since I want to extract the body. Okay, before extracting any value to, um, in next video, I will teach you to extract headers and a cookie. Everything will come from extract only. So call the extract method. Okay, then whatever you want to extract. So I want to extract the body, the response body. So just directly call the body method. And then we have method called add string. Means I want to extract the response body as a string. So let me print it out. This out. So what is that? Uh, response body, right? Response body. Okay. So for the better result, what I will do, I will remove this log right now because we know that what these methods will perform. Okay. I will remove this from here as well. Okay. And let me run it now. Okay, so we can see it prints the book, whatever response body we get 
it is painting here we can see booking id 11 and then we see some json response whatever we are getting earlier whatever the log dot all we print similar kind of body we got here so we actually extracted this body now you can see this is not in well format this is not well formatted right this is coming like in everything is coming coming in single line okay so if you want that you want this particular output in a format okay means in a proper json format then we have one method called as pretty string okay so once we call this method it will give me the response body in a proper format so let me run this uh, code so we can see yeah it is uh, printing in proper json format why this is possible because we use the method called edge pretty string okay when you call only edge string it will give you the json response in a single line okay but if we use this particular pretty string method it will give you the json response in form oh, in formatted way or we can see in proper format okay like a pretty formatting so this is this is the way we can extract the body but here if you see after calling the extract method we are explicitly man, explicitly mentioning uh, the body okay means i want to extract the body but if you remove this code okay means i don't want to mention this one okay and simply i am calling the extract and then i am calling edge pretty string or edge string method let me run it and show you what it gives okay if we run it let me see let me show you what we what we are going to get here okay we can see it again returning the response body itself okay that means if you are not mentioning what actually you want to return okay explicitly then by default it will give you a response body itself okay so if you want to extract this one body as string you can directly call the extract method and then as pretty string it will give you give you response body by default okay so there's only three things you need to notice three things you need to learn you for, for extracting anything you need to call the extract method and then maintain, mention what you want to extract if you want to extract the body there's no need to mention you can directly uh, extract that as a string so there are two methods again as a string and as pretty string as a string will give you the response body in single line while as pretty string will give you pretty formatted string okay or json response okay so that's all for uh, this video so this very simple concept i i hope you people can use it uh, easily if you have any doubt you can comment in this video or uh, if you uh, facing a difficulty you can let me know so that i will cover uh, i will cover the concept in much detail in the upcoming videos okay thank you everyone